These calves were born only a few days ago. They are just beginning to express their own unique personalities. Like us, some of them are inquisitive, some of them are social, some are shy. They were born for one reason, to keep their mothers producing milk. But now, the dairy industry has no use for them. Their story is one that few people know and one even fewer have seen. Over three visits to the Riverside Meats Abattoir in Victoria, investigators documented the fate that awaits most calves who are born into the dairy industry. Dairy calves can be separated from their mothers on their first day of life. As early as their fifth day, they are loaded onto trucks and sent to slaughter. From this ramp, the calves are herded into the slaughter chute. It's illegal to use electric prods on such young animals, yet in this abattoir, they were used routinely, including on calves' faces. Calves are forced up the slaughter chute and into the restraint rollers before being killed. Workers shoved, prodded and pulled calves by their tails to move them up the chute. This weak calf was left lying in the corner of the slaughter room for 24 minutes before he was tossed into the restraint rollers for slaughter. Other injured and dying calves were dragged, dropped and thrown before being killed. This abattoir is not unique. Each year across Australia, over 700,000 dairy calves are slaughtered as waste products of the dairy industry. Their fate is the result of demand for their mother's milk. But the choices we make can help end this. By reducing the demand for dairy, you can help prevent more calves from being born into this system of suffering. Their fate is in our hands. <laughs>